I want to talk about the number one mistake that doctors make in treating heartburn. They alkalize the stomach with things like PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. And the number one being Nexium, and number two is Prilosec. Did you realize between the year 1992 and 2017, Nexium alone, just that one PPI, produced over $72 billion. So these PPIs are one of the most widely sold medications in the world, and I think there's about eight of them. And they're used to treat indigestion, ulcers, GERD, gastritis. And of course, then the doctor will tell you to uh, you know, eat more fiber in the form of whole grains, avoid fat, and then eat bland foods like crackers. <laughs> but here's the problem. The grains alkalize the stomach. And I think the missing link is not fully understanding the significance and the importance of having a very acidic stomach. Your stomach normally should be between one and three. That's extremely acidic. And within a stomach like that, you should be able to digest pretty much anything. But you need that acid in your stomach to kill pathogens, to break down proteins, and to help you absorb minerals. But if you look up data on heartburn, as far as the cause of it, it'll say, well, you're consuming acidic foods, you're eating a high-fat diet, too many fried foods, spicy foods, and GERD. And if you look up the cause of GERD, it'll say, well, the cause is acid reflux. But they're not really looking deeper than that, unfortunately. And then the patient starts taking these PPIs, and they get side effects. Here are the side effects. Abdominal pain, gas, constipation, osteoporosis, sarcopenia, that's the loss of muscle mass, uh, myopathies, muscle problems, probably because they can no longer absorb amino acids anymore. Uh, C. diff, which is a pathogen, anxiety, because you need these amino acids to make neurotransmitters. Uh, SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, fungal overgrowth, pneumonia, kidney disease. But other than that, you're going to be perfectly fine. So what is the real cause of heartburn? Well, it is those things that weaken the stomach acids. Heartburn most of the time comes from a lack of acid, okay? And then the body will start overcompensating and it starts producing more. And that comes mainly from your diet. Too many refined grains, too many sugars, too many processed foods, etc. So this is what I want you to know. The weaker a person's digestive system is, and I'm not just talking about the stomach, I'm talking about any part of the digestive system, the more they need to enhance the digestive system with adding more acids like betaine hydrochloride, which is a natural thing, apple cider vinegar to reestablish the pH, add purified bile salts, which will assist the gallbladder in helping you digest fats, add probiotics to help you digest fiber, and also realize that if your system is weak, you're going to have a harder time breaking down raw foods. So you're going to have to steam your vegetables or cook them and even eat less of them until you can reestablish this acidic pH. And ferment your vegetables, like in sauerkraut, pickles, and other vegetables. Very, very important. That way you can lessen the plant chemicals like oxalates, phytates, lectins, and tannins that can just tear up your intestines. And also, fattier meat is much easier to digest than leaner meat. And I think that has to do with, number one, you're able to stimulate more bile production and help more digestion. Uh, what stimulates bile is fatty foods. So the leaner the protein, the less bile production, the less you're going to be able to get help from your gallbladder when you're digesting. And also, chewing your food a lot longer is going to help you. You're going to stimulate more digestive enzymes that way. Germinating your nuts, like soaking them overnight, would also help. So I just wanted to give you some tips on helping those people that have a weaker digestive system and also increase your awareness and the harmful effects of some of these medications. In fact, when I was in college, I had heartburn so bad and I had no idea what was causing it. Of course, I was eating pure refined carbohydrates and tons of grains, but low fat, lean proteins. Of course, I had very little awareness on health. Um, I was taking uh, Tums 
just like candy all day long until I get an ulcer. So that just went on for years and years and years. In fact, for breakfast, I remember eating um, a lot of cereal and muffins, thinking that was the thing to do. But little did I know, it was weakening my system over time. So it wasn't until I really understood the significance of the stomach acid that I started to turn things around and um, completely get rid of those symptoms. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.